Shiv Puri is our market master of the day. He's founder and managing director at TVF Capital Advisors. Shiv, uh, good morning. Good to have you with us here. Just a quick take on earnings so far. Uh, do you feel they've been a little underwhelming at the margin? Or you think it's just sort of, uh, you know, we've had many quarters of upgrades. Uh, so natural for things to maybe slow down a little bit. Uh, so that, and of course, I mean, if you, if you want to comment on Kotak, uh, please do. Uh, how do you read this? You've been, I think, a big bull on Kotak and the entire large private financial space. So how are you reading this one? Go on. Thanks, Prashant. <clears throat> yeah, I think earnings have been a little subdued this particular quarter, uh, by and large. Uh, there are pockets of uh, exception that exist. Uh, you're seeing some private sector financials do well. Uh, you're seeing certain uh, discretionary uh, companies do well in the consumer space, whether it's both product or services. You're seeing some companies in retail, uh, in hospitals, uh, in both the product and the retail side do well. Uh, you're seeing companies exposed to uh, the infrastructure space uh, and the capital goods space do particularly well. Um, so there's uh, pockets of strength. Uh, and then in areas like FMCG, uh, volumes are challenged and continue to remain so. And so you have some other areas where uh, earnings have been weak. With respect to financials, um, you know, not commenting on any particular institution, and you know, uh, we don't have any involvement in that uh, name for a while. Um, but you know, financials is currently uh, has has a few factors that are very important for this year. One is the macro, and then one is the micro. On the macro, the important point is what the Fed is going to do with interest rates. I think it's very clear that liquidity is going to be a lot tighter than what people thought six months ago or even at the start of the year. We had we heard Powell speak yesterday and, and he mentioned that uh, while interest rate increases are off the table, the rate decreases will be data dependent and the data is not showing anything on inflation softening to their 2% mark. So liquidity is going to remain tight. That's going to have implications on what the rate cutting cycle in India is going to be, as well as what foreign flows are going to do. However, that will come in the future. So that's something to keep an eye on. Uh, on the micro side, I think we've seen, you know, uh, regulatory compliance become a very important aspect of uh, Indian uh, financial services. It always was, but I think the enforceability is becoming more stringent. And so, you know, in evaluating uh, businesses, whether it's banks or NBFCs, ensuring that they have the, the best uh, regulatory compliance is incredibly important because I don't think this is the, the last of what we've heard. Uh, from the regulator. Hmm. Um, uh, hi, Shiv. Good to have you in this morning. Thanks for joining us. So that's uh, financials. Now tell us in, in your portfolios right now, all things being equal, I mean, the market that's moved on steroids, PSUs have rallied, a lot of industrial and capital goods stocks, etc. They've all rallied. In your portfolios, beyond financials, what's getting top billing right now? And where are you still comfortable deploying fresh money at these levels? Uh, the second is a lot harder to answer. Uh, the first being uh, given where valuations are, obviously. Uh, but on the first side, uh, you know, you're seeing, uh, as I was, uh, you know, alluding to uh, earlier as well, uh, you've got two types of consumers. You've got the aspirational consumer that is really spending on discretionary products and services. So, for example, you know, healthcare um, you, uh, services, you're seeing a lot of expenditure, and that's driven partly by insurance, partly by uh, disposable income. Um, not surprisingly, uh, that's an area that's getting uh, uh, a fair amount of increase in how uh, expenditure is coming. So, you know, generally good quality hospitals are, are doing well. Um, in retail, you're seeing some of the higher quality retail discretionary companies do well. And I think those trends will continue uh, for, the, for the rest of the year. So we're quite excited about some of those areas. Uh, and these have been areas that uh, we've been involved with for a long period of time. Okay, so just to follow up on that point, I mean, a lot of these themes have also run quite hard. For instance, uh, you know, uh, top-notch hospitality, or if you're talking, you know, discretionary consumption, whether it's the jewelry stocks, etc. That's where the the move has been, right? Uh, Top-level realtors take DLF, Obroy, etc. Uh, so again, the, the second part of my question: that are you comfortable deploying more money there now, uh, despite the run-up in stock prices? Well, you know, we saw one of the largest street. Taylor's uh, report just a couple of days ago uh, in, the, uh, in the in 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 the in the clothing retail space, um, and you know the results were significantly higher than expectations, uh, and so I think despite the uh, valuations, you are seeing earnings growth beat uh, what the consensus numbers were significantly. 
So I think in this market, it's going to be very important to make sure that companies are able to meet their earnings numbers and in fact exceed it, which certain pockets we are seeing that continue to happen. In those cases, um, you know, the valuation still looks somewhat reasonable. Uh, but for a majority of the, of the names, as I was saying earlier, it's very challenging to find anything interesting to do at the moment. Okay. All right, Shiv. Final question. Short but effective chat today. Could you tell us what's your view on tech? Uh, you know, the global headwinds persist, but some of these companies have very good balance sheets and maybe the worst could be getting factored into the price. Your take. Well, uh, you know, IT services, if you're talking about, uh, is going to be challenged for growth. Um, that is continuing to happen. You're seeing a lot of automation happen uh, using AI, uses, using LLMs, et cetera. Um, and what you're seeing from the hiring numbers at the big IT services companies, I think it's quite indicative of what the rest of the year is going to be looking like. Um, so I think IT services is going to be challenged for growth for the rest of the year. Okay, got that. We'll uh, watch out for this. Thank you very much, Shiv. As uh, Nigel said, a bit of a uh, short chat, lots of earnings today, but really appreciate you being with us uh, and uh, good to have that context.